Hello, everybody. This is Icy New Year, and we are here today to look at Paper Dungeons. Uh, this is a game by Agent Me uh, Mega, which, as far as I can tell, this is the only game they've put out. Um, they're a new little indie company. I've had I've been having fun with this game. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying that. Um, but basically, let's start by looking at the options menu. We're gonna bring their music up a little bit. I had it off while I was playing some of this. I do that often with games. Uh, so music, uh, sound, board style, credits, quit. Not much of an options menu, but with this style, you really don't need much of an options menu. Now there's several different game modes. We're gonna jump into adventure real quick to show you guys what this is all about. Um, we're gonna do, let's see, level four, something I know I can do. Um, basically, Paper Dungeons is a game where you walk around and fight monsters. In adventure mode, ooh, okay, he's wrecking me. In adventure mode, um, your attacks are randomized, and you do it by rolling dice. Um, so this kind of brings back the whole aesthetics of like, or like the classic days of dungeon dwelling with my friends and D&D &D and such. And it's got a pretty good feel to it. Um, my minor gripe here is that it feels a little too random for my tastes. Now, um, definitely you can kind of get on a roll with it, and the randomness is very... You can mitigate the randomness quite easily. Uh, when you level, you get to choose what to upgrade. Uh, as a warrior, man is not a huge deal for me. I think my one spell, I get to detect all monsters for three seconds, so I can get a quick feel for where everything is. Um, but, like, the randomness for my personal taste is a bit too much. Uh, you can mitigate the randomness, as I was saying, but, um... I don't know. I really prefer the other mode, the puzzle mode, which I'll show off here in a moment. Uh, as you go, I'm going to explain these dice real quick. Let's go ahead and bring up our dice. Uh, you bring, get to bring two sets of dice with you. And actually, this is not the best place to show you what the dice are. We'll, we'll get to the dice in a moment. Um, throughout adventure mode, you have three checkpoints. You can uh, use those whenever you want. It saves state, and if I die, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to now. I'm kind of on a good roll here. I've got my attack power up pretty high. Um, we'll just run through. Let's see if I can find the boss real quick. These chicken legs are heals. Um, monsters, once detected, will start chasing after you a little bit, but they seem very easy to outrun. Um, so we might be able to get ourselves killed here. Yeah, oh, nope, we just slayed him. Uh, this rock should kill us. Now I could eat these chicken legs and I'd be fine, but there we go. Cool. We went ahead and died. Um, we're going to go to the main menu, and I'm going to show the dice system, because this is pretty cool. You unlock various dice as you go, um, and there are a total of five classes. I only have one unlocked now. I haven't had a time to play with it for a huge amount. But um, the dice, basically, there's positive and negative effects on each die. You have one damage die, so this is 80, minus 80% 80 damage if I roll this, minus 20%, minus 20%, and this is normal, normal, plus 20%. And then you have an effect die, you roll with it. So this attack uh, decreased by 10%, defense decreased, uh, you 20% uh, less hit on uh, elementals, this lets you steal gold, this lets you, gives you piety points, which you can spend at, um, sort of like a war, temples to choose a god, which gives you various abilities, and attack increased by 10%. Uh, you get to take two sets of dice with you, and you can swap through these whenever you want in a dungeon, as long as you're not in combat. Um, like this one, your doesn't have as high of damage boost, it's only a 10% damage boost, but you have more positive abilities here. Um, hit poisonous monster harder, vampiric monsters harder, undead monsters harder, and first strike. As opposed to, and then magical monsters hit you 20% and elemental. So weak, two weaknesses there as opposed to this set, which has three weaknesses. Then I have this set, which um, still the same number of positives and weaknesses, but gives you defense bonus. So there is a lot of play in this, where you can kind of choose which two sets you want to take with you, which gives you a, a little bit of choice while you're fighting. Um, and these just unlock as you go. Uh, uncommon, you can see where they unlock, like this one lock and the next, and Puzzle Dungeon 5 I'll unlock this. Adventure Dungeon 10, and these are all the way down to Adventure Void Dungeon 103. And the Void Dungeon is once you beat the standard Adventure Mode, you can go into a harder mode with better rewards. 
Um, yeah, obviously I haven't done that yet. Um, I haven't played through a huge amount of this, but enough to get a good feel for it, and you'd switch over to Void here. Um, the Rogue mode, I am not going to be able to show off, sadly. Uh, before the update, I, I updated right before the video, and the Rogue mode used to be unlocked immediately. Now it apparently unlocks in Adventure Dungeon 8. Um, and what the Rogue mode was, was a roguelike. It was randomly generated. When you die, you're dead. It wasn't these set levels. And the levels in here, they're somewhat... I'm going to do the same level again. Four. As you can see, it's the same layout, but the monsters are in a little bit different spots. So, there's a little bit of uh, changes there. Uh, I should show off this board style here. The board style is just a visibility change. Um, but yeah, put that back. I much prefer the board mode. And we're going to go back to the main menu. Okay, the puzzle mode is where I've had the most fun. I really enjoy the puzzle mode. Basically, there's no fog of war, so you can see everything. Um, monsters don't move to attack you. And everything's fixed. There's no randomization. And you don't roll to attack. It's just set. You know, this monster is going to do this much damage to you. You're going to do this much damage to it. And I really enjoy that because it makes for... I mean, some of the levels are really, really tricky. Like, this one obviously is very easy, but some of the levels are really tricky, and I've had a lot of fun with them. Um, like, as in, if I were to attack that one first, I'd be dead, so I know I need to grind up on these and level up first. But, um, I'll be continuing to play this game uh, after the review, and that, I think, is a good sign of, you know, whether... I really had fun with it. You do heal as you reveal dark areas, which I should have mentioned earlier. Um, and you can heal by eating chicken. Chicken, eaten outside of battle, heals you more than in battle, and I really like that. I think it's a cool mechanic. Um, so I want to kind of get down here so I'm not wasting all my heals. And now we can kind of heal up fully there. We got ourselves a level up, and we can take out the boss. Okay. Uh, I know I'm going to be continuing to play this after my review, which for me is a good sign of whether or not I really enjoyed the game. Uh, I know I'll be playing a lot more of the puzzle mode. The randomness of the adventure mode just kind of turns me off a little bit. Um, you can switch between male and female characters. Now where this game can really shine, I'm really excited about, is the editor and the online levels. Now there aren't many online levels out right now, but um, yeah, you can change that. Uh, the online levels, basically, we're going to pop into the editor. It has a very full-featured editor where we can toggle between different dungeon sizes. Um, and we can actually just make ourselves a dungeon. And, you know, let's say we want to start surrounded in fire and terribleness. And then we can try it out. And this is a pretty aye. bad dungeon. Ow. Aye. Ow. Which is going to be very boring. But, you know. Okay, so we're going to go back to... I actually don't think there's a way to jump straight back to the editor. I probably missed that. Whatever. Um, but you can go through, you can place mobs, choose what level they're going to be, uh, and just create your own fun dungeon here. I mean, you can place your items, so basically every item in the game boosts and such. And these are run through as puzzle mode, as far as I've seen. I don't believe there's any way to change it off of puzzle mode. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. And you can add some randomization to this. Uh, like this button will just randomize all mobs, but uh, you can choose, you know, to randomize, uh, set some things to be standard and then randomize others. So I appear to have broken it. It is still in production. So there's a couple little bugs here and there. I ran into one bug where I made a checkpoint in adventure mode and that checkpoint transferred into puzzle mode. That was weird but other than that yeah um this is available right now on desura for $14.99 um whether or not that's worth it to you is going to be a very personal question $14.99 is a little steep for my tastes um especially since i'm not a huge fan of the adventure mode but if the adventure mode seems some like something you'd like probably worth the price for me, since I'll be playing mainly the puzzle mode, and I might push the adventure enough to get the rogue mode back, because that was pretty cool. Um, not worth it for me. But 
I've had some fun with it. I have enjoyed it. I'm excited to see where it goes. And I'm actually really excited to see what else will come out of Agent uh, Mega. But um, let me know down in the comments below whether you think this is a title you're going to pick up. And uh, as always, have a great day.